Hi guys and welcome back from Carly at the Herbothecary. Uh, really good to see you guys again. If you're new to the channel or like the videos, please show your support by hitting like and subscribe down below. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know last year for Halloween, we repurposed an old satin dressing gown. And since and then, the girl has not taken the thing clothes. off. She wears it everywhere. So as her birthday is in a week now, I thought I would make her a new one for her birthday. Uh, she wanted olive green and I couldn't find it anywhere. All I could find was two meters in length of this 1.5 meter in like a foresty green. So I'll make her another one out of that and hopefully I'll be able to get some olive to make her another one at a later date. I started as we all should with the good intentions of making and following a pattern. But as I knew that I wanted it to be a full circle cloak and I also wanted it to be a long cloak both of these weren't an option so first of all I started plotting out just making it a short cloak and same length all round so I cheated and used a radius calculator on the internet and I found that for the approximately 44 centimeters I wanted it was six centimeters so holding my tape measure at the corner I marked six centimeters all the way along from the one side down to the other side and then just joined all of those dots together to make my neck hole and as I only had 75 centimeters maximum length to deal with I then did the same marking off the 75 centimeter line obviously you can minus the six from the 75 and do 69 centimeters from the neck arch but I find it easier to go to the corners uh, from the corner rather so I just marked 75 centimeters along in the exact same way but I really did want her cloak to be long at the back so I popped this pattern piece away and I went back to the drawing board so I knew that I had two meters in length we'll pull that down so you can actually see so we've got our two meters in length and we'd have one meter five on the other side so if I fold that in half I'll get one meter which is the length and then if I fold this bit in half which is 1.5 I'll then get 75 centimeters so I could have a long bit and a short bit to the cloak or two long bits and two short bits so I decided I would fold it down the middle so I'd have my one meter and then I would fold it again so here I have my radius which worked out at six centimeters so my next size I need to come down six centimeters still as we saw because I'm still making it a full circle cloak so then that's the next size of just over 40 centimeters so the way I plan this cloak would it would be full circle and the front lens would be the full meter and the arm sides would be the 75 centimeters so we've got one meter minus six which would be 94 and then we've got 75 minus six which is 69 so the arm sections would be approximately 69 and the front and back sections would be approximately 94 centimeters and it would come down in the front and down on the back and shorter on the arms and then we'll add our hood I hadn't yet decided between just doing a rounded at the head hood or a pointed hood but I suppose I have plenty of time to decide that later 
not sure why I felt the need to label them as I'm pretty sure I know what I will do when it comes to it. So now back to the pattern so I can work it out. Got my six centimeters here. So if we plot out, it would be one meter and 75 centimeters for the short. So that's fold and one meter and a fold on the other side. And then our six centimeter neckline. This is just to give me an idea. And then what I'm gonna do is I'd like it pointed slightly at the wrist sections. So I'm gonna go from the longest point and I'm just gonna arch that round and I can either do it straight or I'll do it curved like I've got in the drawing. So let's see, we'll just draw in that slight curve and see how that works out. So my pattern kind of went out the window. Um, I did film the cutting out of the fabric, but the lighting was absolutely rubbish and you couldn't see a thing. So I'm just gonna give you an idea on this bit of paper. So I had my two meters in length and my 1.5 meter in width. So I was going to fold it in half lengthways. So I'd have one meter in length and then fold it in half width ways. So I'd have 75 centimeters in width. So make sure I got that straight. So then we have one meter in length, 75 centimeters in width. I then used my radius. So we've got our two folds So on both of the folds. I just did the six centimeters for the neckline and then starting at the shorter corner, giving it a bit of a curve over the arms. I just linked both corners together. So there we have our curve. Now I did decide on doing the um, pointy hood. So I measured around the neck arch and I got to around 44 centimeters because it was 11 centimeters round. So that's gonna be the top of my hood. This is gonna be the bottom and the other side will be the opening, the straight side. So I just took that 11 centimeters that was round at that base and I times that by four as there's four pieces. So that came to 44. And as the hood is just going to be half and half, that was around 22 centimeters plus one centimeter seam allowance so I can sew those two bits together. And I literally just used that leftover fabric to do so the hood. I cut hood. out the length and cut out the neck hole. And then we wanna find this long line at the front, just one of them on the lens. And there we have our, well, not really a circle, but kind of full circle pattern for a cloak. Now with the leftover bits, as I said, I'm just gonna use it exactly like this. I just cut the end off. I did have four copies or four bits, but I only need the two. And that will be our hood that will attach there. Now, as I said, I did film cutting the fabric, but it was awful. So these are my two hood bits. So I have them right sides together. This at the bottom is the neck bit. This is where the face comes out. Up here is the top and then the curvy bit is the black at uh, the back rather. So I'm just going to pin and sew the top and the back as the front and the neck need to stay open. Now anyone who's worked with velour knows that it does have a tendency to curl depending on which way you've cut it. So I'm just gonna straighten all those bits and then over at the sewing machine. Now remember this is a stretchy fabric and I really don't wanna stretch it out of shape. I'm going to hold the fabric securely as I go and make sure that it doesn't pull. Now I do want the point to be quite pronounced. So in both cases, the back and the top of the hood, I will be working from that very corner. 
so that is the back or the top down and now we're going to go to the point so again remember to stitch reverse stitch and then stitch again to secure it remembering to back stitch at the end to secure it again and once that's done it's time to assemble the cloak so here i have my hood and i'm going to turn it right way out getting right in that little point i'll point that out well i'll stick a chopstick in there later to make it more pointy so here we have our neck section and we have our seam so we're going to take the cloak section and fold it in half so that we can find that center point of the cloak now we want them right sides together for this bit so i'm going to turn it the other way around but i'm just going to put a little pin in here quickly just to mark the center point of the neck on the cloak we're then going to put them right sides together so in this case it's the veluri side and then the veluri side of the hood and we're going to line up that pin we just placed with that center seam of the hood we're then going to take the end bits of the hood and attach them to the end part of the collar on either side line the fabric up straight so that's one side then over to the other side hood to the edge of the actual cloak body and we'll just pin that in and then moving from the center seam on we're just going to pin that in place now there might be a bit of excess in the hood or a bit of excess in the cloak but if you're using a stretchy fabric like me you can just stretch that a bit as you pin it if you're using a non-stretchy fabric you can actually just do a pleat and back at the sewing machine we are just going to run a straight stitch all along there attaching the cloak to the hood and I'm going to be doing a hem all the way up the end so we'll finish that off and neaten it up at the end and we'll do our attachment but just a straight seam all the way across remembering to stretch your fabric if it needed stretching or just keep it straight if it doesn't and to neaten it up I decided I wanted to put a centimeter ish hem around the face hood part and the lengths that go down the front uh, after fighting with my sewing machine for a little while and realizing that even if I could be bothered to pin it down before I did it I probably don't have enough pins as I have a really bad habit of losing them so now I have to count them so the little ones don't find them I wanted to put two holes by the neck bit rather than attaching a ribbon as my little girl has quite a few really really cute hair clips like a star, a moon, a pretty leaf and I wanted her to be able to change the tie depending on what mood she was in so I've never quite got my head around the button hole option on my sewing machine in fact it drives me quite nutty so instead I cheated and just sewed a rectangle onto the length bit just below where the hood attaches so I did that on both sides and then very very carefully I did go over it a couple of times just to make it a bit stronger and then very very carefully snipped just inside the rectangle so let me grab my scissors so being careful not to cut through my rectangle so snip both sides and now it's just time to attach the clip I decided to go with the star one to begin with and as I obviously couldn't get the actual receiver of the cloak to try it on I recruited her little sister who might be three years younger but is a good inch taller and that is our cloak complete hope you guys enjoyed this video if you give it a go please let us know like comment down below